Hi everyone, my name is Lee. Um, welcome to my YouTube page, uh, Parental Strength. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so I'm going to give a little background about myself uh, as a parent. So I have four kids. Two of them who are not mine. Um, they are my nieces that I have legal guardianship of. Um, they also have PTSD, reactive attachment disorder, and general anxiety, which I will explain, you know, what those are in later videos. Um, so I got them, I've been their guardian for going on six years, and I got uh, custody of them. Um, they were about six or six and eight, oh no, seven and nine. And let me tell you, it was the hardest thing that I have ever, ever done in my life. Um, so they come from a background of drugs, uh, domestic abuse, um, neglect, and they had so many issues, so many issues. Uh, for one, they wasn't fully potty trained. Um, they, because they were so sheltered, they didn't know how to interact with people. They didn't know how to, uh, be out in society, I guess you can, uh, you can say, um, they had night terrors, <laughs> they had night terrors and with the night terrors, I would wake up in the middle of the night and they would be standing over me. They would be standing over me because they didn't have the concept to say, you know, let me wake my aunt up. I just had a bad dream. It was mostly, they would just stand there and wait for me to notice them. And it was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. It was so creepy. It was creepy. It was scary. Um, so while going through this, you know, I, I, I tried to reach out to a lot of people, you know, through social services. I tried to reach out to you know, guardian at items. I tried to reach out to different, just different resources because I was like, help me. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I did not know what it was like raising children that comes from that type of background. Um, I didn't, I seen movies, I watched Dr. Phil, but I had no idea what it would be like. Um, so I just was reaching out to people. I was like, I gotta figure out something. Um, you know, there was, they would lie a lot. They, they would manipulate a lot. And I, I was to the point where I felt like I couldn't do it anymore. Like I honestly, felt like I couldn't do it any longer. And, you know, I would reach out, you know, I would call the um, the social worker that, you know, worked my case. And I was, I said, I, you know, I don't know if I can do this. I feel like I'm not the person for the job. And, and it, this was like pretty much the first two years. The first two years, I was like, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do this. Uh, I can't, I, I didn't. And they kept telling me, you know, um, try to stick it out, try to figure out a plan. Um, I really didn't get a lot of answers. I did. I didn't. Um, we ended up going to therapy. They had their individual therapy. I had my individual therapy. Um, my oldest son had his and we went to family therapy, which it helped somewhat. No, I'm not going to say that. It helped a lot. It did. It helped a lot, it, but it didn't help. So the thing that I'm dealing with right now is a lot of the behaviors issues that I had, I had like the stealing and not being fully potty trained and the lies and the, and this is a seven, nine year old we're talking about. Um, the not being fully potty trained, I had to get nipped that in the bud first. 
and th- we're at a point now they're older and we're at a point now where I really don't have any issues, behavior issues anymore. Um, they're very well mannered, uh, happy, 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 funny, um, great kids, great kids. A lot of behaviors is like, I mean, nowadays, you know, I may run into certain stuff, um, but most of it I would say is the common teenager type behavior. Um, so now we're working on, you know, since we got the behavior stuff out of the way, now we're focusing on working on their um, emotional and mental health. So like I said, you know, they were diagnosed with PTSD, um, was that post-traumatic stress disorder, um, reactive attachment disorder, uh, RAD. A lot of people don't know about reactive attachment disorder. That's a rare condition. Um, so I will do a video on that by itself. It's very rare. Um, well, I wouldn't even say it's rare. I would just say a lot. Uh, it really wasn't. A lot of parents who, you know, deal with adoption, you know, adoption or um, or just have custody of kids that's not theirs. Um, they may be going through the same issues with the child that has reactive attachment disorder and don't have a name for it. Um, so I will do a video on that. Um, so we're working on their mental health and behavior health. I mean, I'm sorry, mental health and emotional health now. And so the reason why I did this page is because with the issues that most parents have, and and I'm not just talking about mental health. This is mental, physical, um, emotional issues that parents have with their kids. And they're like, somebody help me. Somebody help me. I don't know what to do. You know, or you just feel lonely. Like you feel like you just floating through life and you're, you're do- dealing with this by yourself. And I kind of want to make a YouTube page to kind of build a community and I know there's already some out there, but I want to do it. I want to do one myself because I really felt alone. I really felt alone. Um, still do at times. And and especially when you're like, help me understand. Help me know what to do. Uh, or just listen to me. Because I remember I used to try to talk to social services. or I used to talk to people who different resources, different other groups or, you know, Facebook groups or some, I used to just try to reach out and explain what I was going through. And if people don't really know what you're going through, um, even if they adopted a child, you know, um, they may not have those same behaviors that you have with your child. So um, it was, I just hate feeling like nobody was hearing me. I hate feeling like nobody was hearing me. Nobody was seeing me. Like nobody was understanding or was trying to even understand what I was going through. So I I made this Facebook page just to kind of vent. I can vent. Um, I will start doing Q and A's if anybody has questions or, you know, or if anybody just, you know, needs somebody to vent, I'm here. You know, we love our kids. We want the best for our kids. And we're taking care. Of, we're doing the best that we can. Um, you know, I know uh, families that's raising kids with autism. You know, I know family. I, I know this one family um, who child um, was neglected and they got custody of him. I think he was like two. Um, and they had to break his leg because the child never even tried to attempt it, well, not the child never attempted, but the child never walked, um, that he was put, you know, in a car seat for a while. So, uh, he had to get surgery on his legs. Um, you know, I know a lot of parents that go through so much and I just want to build that community. I want to build that community and say, Hey, I'm here. If you want to reach out, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. Um, but sometimes we do need people, um, to vent. So, uh, I am going to start a Q and A for anybody who have like any type of questions, uh, concerns, if they're curious about anything, 
Um, they want to know something, uh, especially about reactive attachment disorder. Um, and, you know, or maybe you want to talk about something that, or bring up a topic that, you know, that can relate to other parents. So, um, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. And I hope, you know, you guys like and subscribe this page, uh, like and subscribe this video, um, and we'll build from there. We'll build from there. I got you. I see you. Um, and we'll see how this goes. Have a good day.